Hi guys, good morning, good morning. This is, I'm halfway through my five days off, you guys. So sad, so sad. Five days off and they're half done. I told someone this morning, I wish my days at work went by as quickly as my days off. My days at work are like, the clock moves backwards. You know, you look at the clock and think, oh, half an hour before I go home. And then you look at it again and it's like, what, 45 minutes. It's terrible, 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 terrible. All right, let's play uh, my normal base paint, you guys, Black Onyx. So I'm still kind of fiddle farting around with no par medium paints or par medium paints with some medium. Uh, and we're just gonna play. We're just gonna play. So I went onto Facebook this morning. The very first thing I saw was a lady struggling with the I bought everything I needed and nothing is working. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Break it down. Break it down a little bit easier for yourself. Um, what are we going to do? <clears throat> That's a good question, you guys. I have a pellet knife. I have a spoon. And I have a variety of paints this isn't even a paint that i would use that's metal paint okay um hang on guys who goes into this without planning anything me okay we're gonna we're gonna do some swiping we might swipe with a spoon and we might swipe with a palette knife and we might swipe with both <clears throat> stuff everywhere you guys all right black cell mix and we might put some white cell mix in too because we're working on black so it's always good to have some contrasting colors so I'm going to start with one swipe on my palette knife I'm going to use some black this is Amsterdam so this is a U.S. Floetrol mix I will put the exact description description the exact measurements in my description box um and then okay this is folk art sunflower right out of the bottle this is just plain basic folk art paint with a big gob in it right out of the bottle and uh this is the acrylic brand uh someone told me i didn't know how to pronounce it and i'm, I'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it wrong or if I just didn't understand what you were saying. So if you see this this tutorial, Swipeys, um, clarify for me what I'm doing wrong or what I'm saying wrong. All right. So this one and maybe one more with cell mix. We're just gonna put these in to add a little bit of visual interest. You didn't need to add the cell mix. You can add just acrylic paint on your swiping knife without cell mix. It is just a matter of a little bit of interest. Um, I did have a viewer that was quite offended. They felt that because I use cell mix, it was pouring medium and I kind of led people and misguided people. Uh, it was not my intention by any means. And I kind of pointed out that in my mind, pouring medium and cell mix are two completely different things. So these paints contain no pouring medium, none. All right. Same paint, orange, on our palette knife, and red. We're just going to do little dots of each, you guys. And we're just going to keep swiping this and keep playing with it until we come up with something that we like. Okay, there's our orange one, orange and red, right? And let's put another orange and red. 
So these little patches of cells, they, they really do just create a little bit of interest. I was telling the same lady in my comment back that you could create the same depth and interest by simply adding lighter and darker shades of your acryl color, acrylic color. Um, yeah, it was just for fun. Just for fun, you guys. Okay, let's do this again. Actually, I should have used a smaller one. I kind of... <laughs> okay, now in the middle of this, I've decided that I should have used my smaller palette knife for this one, but I didn't. All right, well, let's try not to overkill everything here. All right, I'm going to try to spin this because I cleaned everything off my table this morning. As you can see, I went black back to my black table uh, only because I didn't wash off my imitation birch panel pieces on my table and it, they dry and yeah there was no way I was ever going to wash them off again so I had to I had to uh, peel it all off okay I'm gonna spin you guys here we go actually let's spread this out a tiny bit So I have the minimal experience with the Acrylique brand of paint in blues and greens. They're not colors I paint in really often. So I'm not going to put my life on the line that every color works. I don't know. But they're worth a try. And the whole purpose of this is just to show everybody that we can create cool things. Cool things. We don't have to have uber expensive brands. We don't even have to have the uber expensive tools, you guys. Little bits of paper. Okay, we're going to tip that off. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of fine tuning here. And just cover the corners up here that I missed. So last week, we introduced a new player to the table. It was a spoon. A spoon. Kitchen spoon. So today we're going to introduce its table mate, a fork. A fork, you guys. I promised I would do this with absolutely no medium except Selmix. So we're going to, let's use the red. Let's put the red where you guys can see what's going on. Right there. Plain red. Okay, let's decorate this. Let's just add some little embellishments and again, it'll put a whole different twist on your art and you can really see where you can take it. So we're just gonna dip this fork. I had to spend the thick coin, you guys go to the dollar store and buy a bag of plastic cutlery. All right, ah, oh, mom, 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 where am I gonna go? Okay, let's start up here. So depending on how you hold your fork and twist your fork, will depend on the pattern you create. You can go all the way through your bands of color. I chose not to for this. So it's really just a sort of a little way to make some modifications, uh, multiple marks at a time. You can make some dots by just popping it down. It's all the same stuff we've always done, guys. Oh, we just, we're just doing it more of a simplified way, right? Where am I going to go? 
I kind of want to come up here and go through this, but I don't want to really, I want to wreck a lot of it, if that makes sense. All right, let's try it. Well, that's pretty fun, you guys. So this is the red. You could do it with the orange. You could do it with that pretty white color. You can continue adding dots 100% with the exception of some cell mix. No pouring medium, you guys. Cheapy paints from the dollar store. No medium. Just, you know what, I, I've told a lot of people in the last week, I don't know that I would use this particular, I'm going to go in here, if I would use this brand of paint, if I was doing like a commission piece, or if I was doing a really big piece, um, I have done, I have used this brand of paint before in brushwork, uh, and it, it's three, four years old, it stays exactly the color that I painted it originally, so... I don't know what the life longevity of the paint is. I have absolutely no idea. But I do know that if you're just learning and you don't want to spend everything that you have to keep painting, grab some and just play with it. And it, yeah, enjoy it, you guys. Enjoy it, enjoy it. All right, we're going to just touch up this corner because I missed it. See what happens to me when I'm, I think about stuff all the time. I'm kind of like the kind of person that you just don't leave in the car on a hot day without the window cracked because I just get weirder and weirder and weirder. Fun weird. I have a little gooey bit right there, but I do not have a toothpick to remove it right now. Let's, uh, let's dull this part up again. All right, my friends, look at that. How fun was that, you guys? So on the days where you do not want to mix or you do not want to have to spend a fortune, you can do this. I'm going to bring it down. All right, you guys, here we are from above. Uh, your colors on the last thing are a little bit funky, and I'm not really sure even why. So I'm going to hit the lock off, and we'll go down. Come on, camera. Okay, that's a bit better. These colors are intense. Like this is like a neon red and this is a combo of neon red and orange. My lighting in here is really, really poor. Uh, so this stuff that you see the lacing is pale yellow. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, isn't it? What happens if I turn the light out? Okay, there we go. I'm above. Yippee. All right, you guys, you guys got this. Grab yourself some spoons and some forks and some little hunks of paper and some cheapy, cheapy paint from the dollar store. And let's have fun, you guys. Let's have fun. All right, my friends, I am going to get, oh, get this. I'm going to get my driver's license renewed because my birthday is coming up at the end of April. And for some reason yesterday, I thought, oh, I should check my driver's license. Like, oh my God, it expires in two weeks. So I'm off to get a new driver's license. Hopefully they don't make me do a test or something horrible like that. I'm a good driver. I've been driving for 40 plus years. All right, guys, take care and bye for now.